Hello, my name is Rex Busterfield and I welcome you to a demo of my Qualcomm SimPF. The SimPF is a simulator for the Piano 40. The SimPF is a synthesizer configured and dedicated to producing a piano sound without using any piano samples. As such, it doesn't use vast gigabytes of disk space and uh, it loads quickly and you've got uh, detailed parameter control for the sound and no looping points and so on. Um, the quality produced will never be able to compete uh, with that of a high quality sampler, um, but you have advantages, as I just said, from the fact that it's a synthesizer and not a sampler. Now the user guide goes into detail not only of the operation and what the controls do but also the theory and the background to some of the decisions I took when I was developing this instrument. So I'll just give a brief overview of what the uh, various panels do and if you want to go into more detail then please read the user guide. On the general panel, we can uh, retune the uh, piano plus or minus uh, one octave and fine tune it. We have three oscillators for the three strings of a uh, most of the keyboard span on a piano uh, uses a tricord, which is three strings. These can be detuned uh, as a cent, which is a proportional detuning or as a hertz, which can give you a defined beat, beat frequency across the range. Now a tight uh, piano string, a stiff uh, steel wire, when struck produces inharmonic uh, partials above the fundamental, so we can detune uh, 2F, 3F and 4F uh, in a positive direction, and uh, on a real piano they're always sharp, and we can set the level of those detuned oscillators either to a fixed amount here or to be controlled by the envelope generator. The envelope generator not only controls amplitude but the basic settings are also adapted to provide a hammer uh, sound and uh, as I mentioned before the inharmonic component here. The soundboard on a piano is what actually generates the audible sound because the string on its own doesn't make much noise at all so it has to be kind of amplified through the soundboard and so we have a soundboard where we can uh, emulate the size of the soundboard, the resonant qualities and the level of that resonance is added to the signal from the oscillators. When the sustain pedal is pressed on a piano uh, this will uh, release the dampers from all the strings so we can get sympathetic resonance uh, from other strings which are not actually struck by the hammer um, in integer ratios typically. So we can set the decay time of those uh, sympathetic resonances and the amount of the, uh, the level added uh, to the sound of the piano. There's a graphic equaliser which enables you to tailor the sound of the instrument um, to, to your needs and it has a very wide range as I'll show you now. Thank you. 
So piano one is the uh, the basic uh, tuned um, general purpose piano, but by uh, altering these parameters we can get quite different sounds. So this is the piano one sound. Piano two is an example of the more sort of upright Honky tonk sign type of sound. So now I'll run through the uh, other presets which show what you can do when you have a, a synthesizer as opposed to a sampler. So there you go. I wouldn't expect you to be using this as your go-to piano if you want uh, a realistic piano sound, but it offers some features and flexibility that you wouldn't get on a on a regular sampler. So I hope you enjoy it. Have a play with it. Enjoy your tinkle and uh, read the user guide, please. So until the next time, bye.